Actually, we have a humanoid built-in automatic save option if you don't trust AutoCAD and you believe so much in yourself. We can actually immediately save our drawings through the keyboard shortcut Control plus S. So this brings us to the third rule for our class to make it as a habit to press Ctrl plus S on your keyboards. When this become habitual, you will evolve into a superhero that saves the world of AutoCAD pro program crashes and dreaded brownouts. So go ahead and be a superhero and perform Ctrl S. The first time you press Ctrl S and if you have not uh, yet save your drawings the save drawing as a dialog window appears asking you where what file name what file type shall you save your drawing for the meantime leave it as is and just click on save after saving the drawing Performing Ctrl S now is automatic. So go ahead, click again Ctrl plus S. There, you are performing now a quick save. So you are now a, a superhero on your AutoCAD universe by simply quick saving your works. Uh, isn't that amazing? Well, actually, you have a lot more of uh, powers to discover throughout our tutorials. And moving on, on the options again, so right click, select options, and then select the tab for selection under here. You can adjust here the size of the uh, pick box if you are having trouble seeing it on your screen. For me... Uh, the default is okay, so I just leave it as is. But what I would like you to uh, check in this tab is under here on the selection modes. Okay, make sure that noun verb selection is check. Make sure that is check or tick. Okay, uh, by the way, from time to time I'll be uh, saying check or tick. Uh, that's the same. Okay. Tick the box or check the box. This mode simply tells AutoCAD to allow you to select objects before issuing a command. So let's try to uncheck. Okay, uncheck it first and see its effect. So once I uncheck that, I will click OK. So let's create some circles by clicking its toolbar icon up here in the draw tab so just click on the icon for the circle and then anywhere on your drawing area left click and then drag it and then click to make a uh, perfect little circle and then on your keyboards hit enter to issue the circle command again actually uh, pressing the enter key on your keyboards execute a command and then pressing enter after completing a command repeats that command so whenever you want to invoke AutoCAD uh, to do a command finish that up by hitting enter so that AutoCAD will start performing that command and then if you want to reinitiate that uh, command just hit enter after completing the command and by the way you can actually use your spacebar as an alternate enter key okay and this is much more convenient way of executing your commands and I usually work that way I use my spacebar as my enter key So, just like the uh, previous circle, 
click anywhere your uh, drawing area to locate the center and then just drag again your cursor and then click to any size your heart desires now to test the selection mode where the noun verb selection is unchecked press e on your keyboards to invoke autocad to use the erase tool e is the uh, keyboard shortcut for erase so after pressing E, hit enter or spacebar on your uh, keyboards to execute the command. Then it asks you to select the object. So please select any of your circle and then hit enter. And voila, that ugly circle is gone. But let's try another way. We select first the object. So go ahead and uh, select the remaining circle by moving your crosshair over your circle make sure that the pick box crosses okay or hovering over the circle until it highlights so when it highlights select it to select the circle and then type e again on your keyboards to invoke AutoCAD again to do the erase command and then hit enter what happened is it deselected my selection actually okay it deselected the initial selection so you're uh, you're being asked or prompted again to select object so select the object again and then after selecting it uh, grayed out so it was selected and then hit enter and there the other uh, circle is deleted so all in all it takes at least three steps to complete the command so let us undo by pressing ctrl z on our uh, keyboards a few times to return back those two circles so control and then Z a few times to return back those uh, two circles we deleted a while ago now uh, go back to options and then make sure that the noun verb selection is now and then click OK to apply. Now, let us perform uh, the same sequence that we have done a while ago. So, invoke AutoCAD to do the erase command. So, type E and then enter. And then select the smaller object or circle and then enter. So, it deleted again that circle. Okay. So, as previously what we have done a while ago, let's select the uh, bigger circle or the remaining circle. And then hit enter to reinvoke AutoCAD to do the erase command. So enter or space bar. And there you have it. It's much more faster. It's efficient. Lastly, before we leave options, we go first to the user preferences and then click on right click customization. Currently, the right button of the mouse when we click it anywhere in the drawing area brings out the shortcut menu but others prefer that the right click performs as an enter key however if you want to take the advantages of both you can turn on the time sensitive right click okay so it's your option if you want to uh, extend the functionality of your uh, right button but for me I am contented with my spacebar okay so I just leave it as is but if you wish you can experiment on that and look for uh, a better way of entering a command okay for me I just leave it as is and then just cancel it and then cancel 
And to complete our mouse adventure, we take a look at the scroll wheel. And since we love to navigate, the scroll wheel is our indispensable navigation tool in the drawing area. So first, to zoom in or zoom out of the uh, drawing area, we just roll up or roll down our scroll wheel. Just so. So when I roll up my scroller, I'm zooming in. When I roll down my scroller, I'm zooming out. Note that uh, this is just zooming the drawing area and not in any way scaling up or scaling down your drawings. We shall be scaling our drawings later in the paper space uh, tutorial in our succeeding modules. Okay, so let's test the uh, zoom. Okay, so let's create another circle. Just any size you want. And maybe that's good. Okay, so let's try uh, our scroller by rolling up and rolling down the uh, scroll wheel to see the zoom command. So we are not scaling again the object. We are just zooming the drawing area. Okay, so so try to zoom in here in the center or outside far from that circle. So you'll notice that the zoom is centered on the pick box. So whenever where the pick box is, that's the center of the zoom command. Or the scroller now in order to see the extent of your drawings double click your scroll wheel just so and there it, the circle fits the entirety again of the drawing area that's just by double clicking your scroll wheel so we say we have a three button mouse by uh, using it as a button okay so once you double click your scroll wheel you are essentially zooming to the extent of your drawings okay and uh, let's zoom out, uh, zoom out uh, to make it a little smaller okay and the zoom extent is actually could be done also or performed using a uh, keyboard shortcut Z okay so type Z on your keyboards and then hit enter after hitting enter type E and then enter and then it performs the same functionality as my mouse so the scroller double click is much more faster than the keyboard commands I have to type two letters and then hit enter twice to execute the command but in any way you could always uh, interchange those two okay zoom to extent so type z enter type e for extent and then enter and you're zooming to the extent of your drawings and that's just readily available with the mouse And now, hold and press your uh, scroll wheel uh, to turn your cursor into a pan hand. And essentially, you can now uh, drag the drawing area. Again, uh, similar to the uh, zoom command, you are not in any way dragging or moving your drawing objects, but simply just moving or dragging the drawing area so you notice there the uh, uh, red and the uh, green lines they follow with the uh, object so meaning I am just moving my paper or I mean the drawing area so go practice combining the functionalities of uh, your scroll wheel okay and those are just some of your superpowers. So let us discover 
some of them in the next videos. Thank you and see you.